uh, is the now we going to uh, see about a Java script. Okay, so okay. Now we previously we have some given information about a JSP. For JSP, we want to develop any web page. We have to use JSP. But what is the actual thing? It is the JSP. It interact with the server. What are the data you are giving? It will interact with the server and then the process it and send back to the browser. But before interact with the server, we have to give some validation in a browser page itself. So, if you want to do any validation, validation of a page, not only that, we can create a dynamic content in JavaScript also. Actually, then another one. The where the JavaScript will be executed. Start to the server or the server page. If you done any validation, that is the client side. If you are doing any validation in server page, what are the thing we can do it in a client side validation for checking the whether email ID is valid or name have any numbers. So, this kind of stuff we can do it in a client side. In server side, checking of correct users, then yeah, if the user and password is same or before inserting any data in a database, other than that, all the data are valid. So, this kind, this kind of thing we can done in a server side validation. Okay. So, now we are going to focus on client side validation. Okay. So, okay. Just where we can write a JavaScript in your HTML page. There is no restriction to write a JavaScript in your HTML page. Wherever you want, we can write before HTML tag or end of HTML tag and in between the body and inside head, wherever you want, we can write. The best practice of writing a JavaScript is where? Inside head, that is a before body. That is the way, the best way of writing a JavaScript in head. Okay. So, JavaScript is supposed to add your JavaScript element in your tag. What is the tag? Script. We have to mention a type of the script. Okay. Text dot JavaScript we have to add. Okay. In this program, what I have to do? Is what is actually the thing is going on here? We have a one button, then one what is that? Paragraph tag. Okay. The, but initially, there is a in paragraph tag, nothing is inside. Okay. When you are press the button, what will happen? It will invoke the method display date, then the date will be where? Where it is, in, where it is displayed? In paragraph tag. Okay. With the help of the attribute name is called inner HTML. Okay, the inner HTML we have to know it is a very important attribute for most of the elements like div. If you want to dynamically change any content, if you want to dynamically post the content, we can use this attribute inner HTML. So, I am taking the particular tab using a ID, get element by ID, then inside that I am the putting the date. Okay. Then using external Java script. What is the external JavaScript? Whatever the content you are using inside the same page, that is a in a inside JavaScript. If external, what it mean? We can separately write your JavaScript as a .js file. If you want to include that file in your HTML, we have to add it using a src. Okay. What is, we have to specify the path of the particular JS file. We used to have semicolon in JavaScript. That is not a mandatory thing. We, if you want, we can use this is optional one. Okay. If you want to, in a single line, if you want to write multi statement, we have to use semicolon. Okay. Here also, the JavaScript also, we have a command like what we are using in C. If you want to, it is a single line, we have to use double slash. If it is a multiple line, we have to use slash star. Dot slash. Okay. 
Okay, alert the pop-up box. What is the pop-up box? It want to alert any messages. Okay, we have a three type of pop-up box over there. First one is a alert. Alert simply it will alert the message. That's it. Second one. What is that? Confirm. It will get whether it is okay or cancel. If you are press okay, it will return true. Else, it is false. Based on the true false, we can do some action. That is why we are getting a confirmation. Then third one, prompt. If you want to get any data from user, we can use prompt. We can get the data, whatever you have entered in a prompt. Okay. Okay. So, simple the demo, just alert, it will simply display the alert message, then confirm, it will ask whether it is okay or cancel, then prompt, it will get the information from user. Okay. Next one is the JavaScript event. It is the main thing we have to focus on event. Whatever you are writing in a JavaScript, at what time it is supposed to execute? It is a very important. Whether at the time of pressing your button or at the time of loading your page, at the time of closing your page, okay, at the time of key up, key down or mouse up, mouse down. Okay. Based on the particular event, we have to perform some action. That is the thing of using JavaScript event. For example, if I want to uh, display my name okay, before entering into the page, what I have to do? Huh? On load, what we can do? Just simply in a page, I want to display my name, whatever I entered in a uh, text box or whatever it is. What, how, how we can do? We can use prompt. According to this scenario, we can use prompt. Whatever data you enter, we can store it in a particular variable. That variable we can print it in a particular div or paragraph. Okay. Where we can write a onload function in body of your HTML. So, onload, I am invoking a prompt pop up. Okay. Then, inside body of your HTML, I have added one div. What is the div? Division. Okay, with ID name. Okay, so when a, when the page is loading, what will happen? In on load event, it will invoke the method prompt. The prompt what it will do? Simply it will get the name from user using a prompt window. Then that value will be available in name. Okay. So, with help of this value, where you want to put that value? In our division. How to access the division? Get element by id. So, document dot get element by id. What is the id name? Name. Then, I want to put inside the div. So, for that inner HTML.
So, what happened? Why it is not coming previously? Catch. That is the main problem in catch it. If you are developing any web application, yes, maximum we have to avoid to have catch it. It will make lot of problem. Okay. So, try to remove your catch it. I have entered RA. So, RA will be displayed in your page. Okay. So, these are the most event we are using in our JavaScripts. Okay. We have, if you want to do any validation, record field, what, what we have to do? If you have, for example, I have a login page, username and password. User supposed to enter username and password. How to check? How we can check? Each and every text field we can have, we can define a ID. With help of this ID, we can get that value whether we have to check whether the value is empty. If it is empty, we have to alert the message, please enter the name. So, okay, this is a way we can use required field validation. If you go for email validation, we have to use some logic inside a JavaScript method. What is the logic we have to use? The whatever the value, the value is supposed to have two constraints, the main important character supposed to be there. What are they? At and dot. And then the position also, it is supposed to in correct place. Okay. If you are using at, before at, supposed to have some characters, after we have, must have some characters. The dot also, you must have minimum number of characters after dot. Okay. So, these are some with the help of this logic, we can check the validation. So, we have a, here I have, have added two text field, whether it is visible, okay, little bit, okay, fine. The first one is a name. If I entered, so it, there is a value. So, it will not throw any alert for name. It will throw only for email. Okay. If I not entered any value, so it will check for name. It is not valid because I am not added dot. input is valid. So, what I have done here for that simple the same thing in valid function. When you are I have added two input fields that is a text another one is a button. When you are perform any action that is a click on the button it will invoke the method valid form. When you are doing a valid form I am taking the data of text field, the text, if the text field is empty, it will throw the alert, then it will return, it will not go for where, email. So, it will first let you complete the name, then you go for email. Okay. If the, the text field is okay, then it will go for email validation. That was tip, some little bit advanced like timing. If you go for any website, there will be some Frequently, if you go for ESPN.crickinfo.com, what is happening in that one? We can show the score, but whether we want to, every time we want to refresh the page, whether it is necessary for refreshing page to get the current score, no need. After 3 seconds, it will be auto refresh the page. So, if you want to do any the refreshment or if you want to do any message alert or whatever the thing based on the some specific time we can use set time out. Okay. After particular time if you want to do any action repeatedly. So, we can use set time out and then we can clear the time based used on the, the variable we are we are using for set time out. Okay. Then another one is the object. What is the object? In Java what is the object? instance of a class. So, if we have any class, the class have lot of variables. If you want to use that variable, we can use object to access the variable. Likewise, in JavaScript also we have a object, we can have a 
more number of variables with values pair okay variable and value pairs with the help of that object we can refer the particular values based on the name okay for example here we have a person object the first name last name and then age i color these are all name of the object the value we have mentioned in double quotes that is a john so everything you can mention in a double quotes okay the value if you want to access simply we can use that object dot name of the attributes which one you want to get cookies already knows that is a temporary storage in your vendor machine these are the dom that is a document object model the simple whatever we have discussed that is a simple way of just simply we are validation or how to access the data how to just check whether the value is entered or not so this kind of stuff the document object model that is a document object if you want to access the specific part of in your html file if you want to access the anchor tag if you want to access the div with help of document object we can access all your component in your html page okay for example the first one document dot anchor so it will return a what will return it will return the number of anchors in your html page with the help of the square bracket we can mention the index value to get the particular anchor for example if you have a five anchors okay if you want to access the fourth one so we can access document dot anchors square bracket of 3 let's start with index start with 0 so 3 if you get the values we can get the value if you want to get the value that's with help of dot inner html we can get the value of anchor okay so likewise we have we can use the document object for all the components in your html file for it is, if it is a button or input or if it is a division or paragraph tag whatever we have we can use i have one function okay the same uh, fields like text input name and email okay in text field one that is a name i have added one key up when you are pressing the keyboard key so what will happen it will invoke the method which button so there is a even we can pass the even for the particular javascript method with the help of that even we can get the which key the value the ascii value we can retrieve okay so that's why a lot even dot key code so i have entered g so it shows the ascii value for g Okay, I have entered enter key, so it, that's why it shows thirteen h. Okay, so likewise we can pass event value to your Java script function. I that I heard about uh, some of them they are working with uh, that animation kind of stuff. I'm correct for learning portal. Some of them they are developing the applet. who are all working going to work for applet what are you going to do in applet ah with not only that we going to go with some demos also na i think we going to for like simulation kind of stuff okay how the chemical is transferred to one thing to another so likewise it should be happen with an animation likewise in javascript itself we can have a animation kind of stuff if you want to draw the line or if you want to draw any shape if you want to move the shapes to one place to another place we can do it in our javascript itself okay so if you want to use this kind of features we must have to add the libraries predefined libraries okay we have if you want to draw the 2d animation if you want 2d 2d shapes we have to use the existing library what is that js draw 2d dot js it is a open source 
is available in code.google. Okay. So, not only this, we can have a lot of jQueries. What are the jQueries? It is a jQuery is a library, but it is a pure JavaScript only, but it is fully tested and they have a lot of features. We can use it as a library, that is it. Likewise, here also it is a li like a library, we can use our feature what we, whatever the thing we want. For, li for example, we want to draw the line or shape, filled circle, so this kind of stuff. For example, if you want to use this library, first we have the main thing, before that we have to draw the line, we have to create an object for 2D animation. So, for that, for creating an object, we have to use new JS graphics, the what we have mentioned inside the bracket that is a where to draw the shape. Here I have mentioned a div id. For example, if you have a division, okay, inside the division you want to draw the line or circle or shape, we have to mention the particular id, the corresponding component you have to mention. Okay. Then after that with help of that object we can draw the lines. If you want to draw the line, before that we have to set some parameters like we have to create a colors, we have to set the pen of the particular object to draw. So, for that if you want to set the color, so we have to use js color, we have to mention a name of the color. Then we want to set the pen, what is the pen? Now we have set the color, we have to, for drawing we, num, we must to have pen, so we have to set the color to the pen. So, for that pen color plus this is a 1, that is a, the depth of the pen. For example, let us suppose we want to draw the line, we have to use, what is that? We have to, before drawing line, suppose to have two points, so we have to create a point. So, for, for creating a point, js point, we have to mention a x and y coordinate. Likewise, second point also x and y coordinates. After that, with the help of this two point, we can draw the line. Okay. GR, what is the GR? GR, the object for that graphics. Okay. With the help of that object, we can invoke the method draw line. Okay. Likewise, if we want to draw the filled circle, GR dot filled circle, we have to mention a point, color, then radius. Likewise, we, are, we have drawn two circles. So, okay. With help of this, how we can do the animation? Whether it is possible to do animation with simply drawing the shape? We, we, it would be supposed to be like it is expanding in some time, I am correct? So, instead of drawing, deleting, we can increase the size simply. How to increase the size? Associate with time. So, specific time, the radius supposed to increase. So, how we can combine with time and shape. If you are combining time and shape, it is getting a animated effort, that is it. So, I will show you this small demo. Before that, I show you the code. Okay. Okay. This is the code. We have a division. What is the division? Required. Where is the place you want to draw the shape? Then I have a two button. One is a start and stop. Okay. Then next one, we have mentioned a parameter for drawing a circle. We have drawn two circle over here. The first circle have some coordinates. Second circle have some coordinates. The both circle has the different radius. One is a forty. Another one is a 30, but both are initially in different places, but it is in a same, same y axis. Okay. So, what I am going to do, I am going to try to, one circle is in a static position, another circle going to cross the, the static circle. So, for that what we have to do? We have to, at the base on the time, we have to increase the x coordinate or y coordinates? Y x coordinates, okay, because x is a different. So, we have to increase the x coordinates, but initially x coordinates of the first circle is 50, second one 
minus 40. So, minus 40 is somewhere. So, if you are increasing, it will move towards the right. Okay. So, how we can do? So, at the time of start button, I am invoking a method that is called, what is the method? This is the method. Okay. Time count. Okay. So, initially p is a point of y axis, that is a minus 30. Okay. When still the p is less than 150, I have set the limit. So, it should not, should not move after some certain space. Okay, so, that I check the constraint. If it is less than 150, what it will do? It will increase. Then after that, else what it will do? It will clear the timeout. What is the clear timeout? It will stop the time. Okay. Then after what is this? Same thing. I have created object, then I have set the color and everything. But here we have to look at this. What is this P? Now, I am using a p. So, every time you are invoking the p value, the y axis will be increment and then it shift to right. So, okay, if shift to right, it is like a paint, what will happen? So, paint will be there, again it will be paint. So, its object will be crossing over there, the previous painted color should be there, it will not removed. So, what we can do? So, previous we want to get the previous y axis, there we want to paint white color. So, here I have used f f f. So, this is the color for white. I, I am taking the previous point here. See, after assigning a point to previous, then I am incrementing p. So, after that, what is this? t equal to set time out. not 50 seconds, it is a 50 milliseconds. Every 50 milliseconds, it invokes the same function. This function is written in a time count. So, it not sleep, it will be increment. So, it will be after 50 milliseconds, it will invoke same. It will come again, it will invoke the same. So, it will be continuously invoking. So, what will happen? The object will be moved further. So, now what is the second circle? It was in minus 40. So, it will not come to the screen. So, when you start, it will come. Okay. So, it is like crossing to the particular circle, that is it. So, but it is not big deal, but we have done with shapes and time. So, that uh, animation, what is that? Based on the time, it will be do some other different different action. That is it. Okay, that is it about Java script. These are the reference. We can get some more information. The last three, we can get more number of animated kind of effect. Not only the JS, draw, 2D, we can get more libraries. So, I will show you the one small demo I have taken from net. What is happening? If the ball is moving to your screen, but it is not a thing. It is we have used only JavaScript and HTML. So with the help of this only we can do lot of animated effort. Okay. Okay. Just if you go for a JavaScript. Just people are thinking that in the simple JavaScript we can't do more, but it is not a case. With the help of JavaScript, we can do lot of thing. Okay, but the we have to correctly use the JavaScript. That's a very important because if you are all the validation, if you are done before get into the server page, most of the our processes this it will be complete before getting to the server page. If you are, we can do everything in server page. 
it is a some disadvantages. What is that? For example, the server page will be not used by single user, it will be used by multi users. So, all users data will be validated there, it is not a good way of doing the validation. If you are all validation done in different different machine, that is it, the client side validation will take care of the particular browser, it will not take care of the server page. So, it will be best way of validation do it in client side. Okay. Then important code like login server password you want to check we, that, that thing we have to definitely we have to check in server page. Okay. Okay, that is all about this today's session.